I'm here with New Canaan football coach Lou Marinelli, uh, probably one of the people most involved with getting seven on his teams involved in seven on sevens from uh, an early standpoint. Talk a little bit about the benefits of it. I think with the, the spread offense now, and you see more and more teams going to it. I think you know finally football has caught up with basketball and hockey and lacrosse and soccer and. Uh, those sports as far as off-season playing their, their sport. And even though there's no tackling or blocking, the fact that you get a chance to run your offense, which uh, you know is, is dominated by the pass, you get a chance to, to get your reads in and, and things like that. So you know, finally, football is caught up with the other sports as far as um, you know, playing their game. You've had one of the most prolific passing offenses probably the last four or five years. How much does 7-on-7 seven seven make a difference in that? Well, it's exactly what you do on, during the game. So, I mean, just like basketball and just like um, um, those other sports, you're, you're actually playing what you're going to do in the fall. So I think that's a, a big thing. Since there's no blocking, uh, you know, certain positions aren't uh, used. Any downside at all to 7-on-7s? Seven well, it's... <laughs> You know, when the bullets start flying, it's a whole different deal now. But uh, it's, it's ideal conditions, and it's, uh, you know, the quarterback doesn't have to worry about uh, getting hit. It's all, like, uh, geared towards the passing game. But uh, the whole thing kind of changes a little bit when you've got people chasing them that are, you know, have, have you know, want to knock them down and stuff. <laughs> I don't pe think people realize how busy your team is in the off season. Talk about uh, how much work they do so they are prepared when you start camp up. Well, I mean, I don't know that we do any more than anybody else, but, uh, you know, we, we do go to a few seven-on-seven -seven tournaments, and we try to give our kids uh, as many reps as they can possibly get, uh, you know, leading up to the season. So it, it's been working for us now, and, and, you know, we're fortunate to have kids that have really bought into the program and, you know, are willing to, to do these kinds of things to get better. So that, that helps. What can we expect from the Rams this season? I don't know. I, if you go by today, I'm not sure what to expect. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, our goal is to get back to Rensselaer Field. You know, that's what we want to do. Now, that, that's a, a goal we have every year, but it's, it's where we want to be. And, uh, you know, it, there's a long, long road to that. Uh, but that's, that's our goal. We want to we try to get to the FCI championship and win that, and we want to get to the state and win that again. So that, that's, that's our goal every year. So we'll see what happens. All right, well, thanks, Lynn. We'll be catching up with you again soon. Thank you. Appreciate it.